Hi there, YouTube family. Welcome into today's video, which is going to be a paint by numbers. I know I have been wanting to do this for such a long time and I finally got to do it for you guys. I sat down and I actually just pushed myself to do it because how can you have this many palettes in your life without doing tutorials? So paint by numbers tutorial. If you've never seen this before, what this is, is I give you a palette. I show you exactly what color I number those colors and I tell you exactly where to put them on your eye. So we are using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette today, which I'm very excited to be using. It was very, very requested. By the way, if you're new here to the channel, I am very, very happy that you're here, but please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that bell icon and give me a thumbs up before you go so that I know that you are enjoying these kinds of videos too. Yeah, let's get started with this video so that you guys can see how I create this look with this palette in a one, two, three step and easy to follow along. Okay, you guys, I hope that is close enough for you. So start by pulling my hair out of my face. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape on my eye. Um, if you see me looking a little bit to the side there, it's because I have a monitor on my camera that's really small and I have a tendency to make sure that you guys are still in frame and glance at it a lot. So I try not to do that, but sometimes I get to doing it too much. Okay, and so I'm gonna place that tape um, and it's just like always, you guys, um, I leave a little bit of a space down here below and then I just go ahead and take it out just below the tail end of the eyebrow. All right, go ahead and prime your um, eyelids with whatever primer you have. I'm not picky, you can use whatever you like the best. Um, and then um, here is our Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna start with this color right here. That's color number one. That's going to be our transition color. And um, we're just gonna use a very, very fluffy brush. This is the Morphe um, E27. I've been loving using a very fluffy brush for my transition colors lately because they have just been blended out so pretty and so tap that brush off you guys know that I tell you all the time tap that brush off like crazy okay so placement of this because we're using more of a bigger brush what we're going to do is placement of it is going to start actually down in the crease exactly because the brush is so big that it's going to fluff out over the top if that makes sense and we're just gonna start in the corner there and we're gonna continue to push that across. Um, I don't do windshield wiper motions because I find that my eye creases because of the crepiness in it. So I will work in little tiny motions as opposed to back and forth really quickly. Notice I'm, I am raising my eyebrow. I do that because again, my eye, um, I do have crepiness on my eye and it folds over a little bit. And so again, just really working in back and forth tiny motions. You can do circular if you want, but I find that this fluffy of a brush, it does really good with this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth pushing motion. And then I come over here and instead of going back and forth right there, I'm actually pushing kind of up and down and with the contour of the eye a little bit more. So do a love this fluffy brush. And the other nice thing about it is I don't have to work so long on putting on that transition color. It really does it just about for me. So it's just really, really beautiful on how well it does. And then I'm just going to go across the top there and kind of transition it into up by my eyebrow. This is a Benefit highbrow pencil. Um, you don't have to ha actually use this part. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I love doing this part personally. Um, just want to just kind of, you know, lift my eyebrow a little bit with a light colored pencil. You could do this with any color eyeshadow you wanted, but I like the pencil. It, I just seem to have a little bit more precision with my hands and the way that they shake. You could pick up any jumbo pencil you wanted to. It doesn't have to be a benefit one. You could pick up any drugstore one you wanted to. Color number two. Color number two is going to be this color right here. It is a kind of a light cream color. I really like this. So I am actually going to pick up that color right there, that white color right there with my, with my finger, just picking it up with my finger right here. And I always do this on my lid color. It just, it lays down color easier. I start at the lash line and I just start to push it across my lash line. And then right here, I go in a little bit of a diagonal. 
And um, the reason I do that is because I'm going to bring that contour shade over top of it. And then I'm just going to come over quite a ways into the um, corner of the eye there. Now stick with that color number two. Pick up a flat paddle brush. This one doesn't have a name, but just any sort of a flat paddle brush. Pick that up and we're going to do the inner corner highlight. And just making a little V right there. And that's all the inner corner highlight is. Okay, color number three is going to be this color on the corner, second one down. Um, I really, really like this color. It's just a warm brown, and we're going to put that in the crease, and we're gonna warm up the eye with that color right there. And taking just a small shader brush, you're going to dip that into there lightly, not too much. And of course, as always, tap off like crazy. And we're gonna go right down into this corner. Now, the reason that I use this tape, this is the magic of the tape for me, is that now I'm not gonna be making mistakes and bringing it down too far. I can really push that color right there and I can do it in a diagonal so that my eye look doesn't run all over. And I just love this technique. So I'm going to pull that color all the way over lightly. After I have placed more, most of that color down with my brush and really pushed it into that corner, I'm gonna pull it over my into my eye a little bit and then pull it up on that corner a little bit as well. And again, I'm not doing any sort of windshield wiper motion, just pushing and doing very, very small strokes. But I didn't use that many colors for this look. I'm actually only using four total colors for the whole look. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs highlighter. This is in blacker, I think, or blackest black. And I am just going to go ahead and line my inner rim with that. If now, you choose not to do the darkness, that's okay. You can always use a flesh tone color in there to um, take away any redness. So either way you wanna go, this is more, um, you know, I, I wear this to an office um, for years, but um, lots of people don't like to have that inner rim um, darkened up like that. So try out a nude color, you probably really like it. Okay, Morphe M168 is this little teeny tiny uh, smudger brush that I got in a, the Morphe Me Box, and I love that thing so much. And then this is the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium, which I feel like every woman should have this to make custom eyeliners with. Um, I'm putting a tiny, tiny dab of that, um, just like a droplet of that on my hand. I'm going to pick up the liner color that I've chosen today, which is a teal, to make this color, this look really pop. It's this teal color right here that I'm using, the one in the very corner, and um, this is gonna be color number four. Um, I really, really love that. So I'm going to really pick up quite a bit onto the brush, um, just picking up quite a bit onto the brush rolling my brush around there in there pretty good. And then I'm going to dab it into that little mixing medium and maybe go back in and pick up a little bit more back and forth until I have it mixed up the way that I want it so that it can make the eyeliner look that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to just go straight across. Actually, you can remove the tape at this point. I should have done that a little bit before, but you can remove the tape at this point. And um, sometimes like I'm, for purposes of what I've done for this tutorial today, I had my concealer on, but normally I wouldn't have my concealer on. So I will have to go back in and touch that up a little bit. So I'm going to take with just small brush motions and I'm going to smudge an eyeliner across there and telling you that the eyeliner is going to stay all day long because of that mixing medium. It seems to be not only smudge proof, but it seems to be long, long wearing and almost waterproof, which I absolutely love. And I really smudge it close to that bottom lash line. Just absolutely love this stuff. Okay, because the brush is still really wet, I'm picking up just a little bit more and I'm going to go into this corner over here and yes, I'm shaky as usual, you guys. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up to bring this look together a little bit more and just a tiny, tiny bit into the crease there. Okay, so I love that. So 
so, so easy, you guys. This look was super duper easy. I just smudged it across the bottom. I am done with that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put my two coats of mascara on and I will be right back with you. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. You saw it on the other eye too. I just think this is so fast, so easy, and no mess, no fuss, but it came out so polished and I absolutely love this look. It is something that I wanna encourage all of you to do is use your colors a little bit more. Yes, I did do more of a neutral eye on the top, but as far as that pop of color in the eye, on the eye line, I think it's so, so pretty. And I wanna encourage you to use as much color as you can. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. It means a lot to me and it helps my videos get out there so other people can see them especially the paint by number series, which I think is an important series for everybody to be able to go one by one by one through your eye look. And they become so easy when you do that. So that is everything. I hope that you're having an amazing, wonderful day and I will catch you in my next video, you guys. Love you, bye.